What's up everyone, Sultry Seagull back again. This week we're looking at using GBU-12s or laser guided bombs in the A10C. So I'm going to run you first, I'm going to run you through how to set them up with a custom laser code that you wish to use. Um, so we're going to go across to our DSMS page on our left MFD. And as you can see here, we've got the GBU-12s in station 8 and in station 4. Current code, laser code, is set to 1144, which you can see under GBU-12 on each station. Let's assume we want to change that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the inventory page. And we're going to select, let's start with station 4. We'll select that one. We go to the inventory status page. And we'll see here laser code. So first thing we want to do is we're going to input our code. So let's assume one zero four zero put a zero in there we go you can see it there so four digit code make sure you go four digits and it should start with a one otherwise it has a conniption oh, didn't work okay let's try one one five four let's just go with that there we go, puts it in there, you got 1154 now there. Now that's not yet loaded, you then need to hit the load button here. You can actually hit, i um, pretty sure if we go back in there, I've just seen it now, if we go into inventory status and we see there we got that, we can hit load symmetrical and it does it over both all of our GBU 12 stations. So now station 8 is done as well. Otherwise, you could have gone in there, selected that, and done it manually as well. So we've got our laser code set up on the bombs. Now we need to make sure we've got a matching code on our laser designator. So in our TGP, let's go back. So if TGP is warmed up, we're going to air ground mode. And then in order to find our laser code, we'll go into the control tab. And then we'll see here, we've got our L for laser code here. That's where we need to put in our code. So we want 1154. So again, we go up to the top here, 1154. And we'll hit that OSB and our laser code is now set and matching to our GBU-12s, which means that we are ready to laser. Another thing we're going to do, so we don't have to hold the laser button down, is select our latch to on, and then we can return to our main page, our TGP. We're going to leave that up. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure your laser is armed. So in the up position, uh, TGP obviously would be on, master arm on, gun can be safe or armed depending on what you need it can you can drop the bombs with it on safe okay so that's set up next thing we're going to need to do is get to our targets so before we do that let's make sure we've selected our gbu 12s in the dsms page and we're going to switch to ccrp and that's all good so next thing we're going to do Let's make our TGP sense of interest. Now I've got some targets around waypoint one here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to let's look at some key binds quickly here before we get started. So important one we're going to need is TMS Ford. We're going to be using TMS Ford long mainly. So that's going to slew, slew our TGP to the current uh, speed. All right, so in this case, that will be the waypoint that we set up. Uh, and then other thing we're going to need is our laser designate button. So that's nose wheel steering button. Okay, so same button you use for nose wheel steering. Make sure you have that bound or know what it, which button it is. And obviously then our weapon release button here, which you should have bound already anyway. Um, and I think that is about it for the GBU-12s. So what we're going to do now 
we've got a waypoint set up somewhere near our target so we're going to hit uh, TMS forward long and she's refusing There we have them. So we've got a. We're going to start by targeting this battery here. So what we can do now is we're going to make that our speed. Let's make sure it's done in our tad. There we go. We can see the little castle of our TGP icon. And now it's as simple as turning onto that target and we're going to see that vertical line appear. So the vertical line coming out of the bomb pepper now, we're going to have to line up as close as we can to this vertical line you see appearing now, which is a line basically directly down to the target. So that's going to put us in the best position to drop. Obviously being laser guided doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see the countdown on the pepper at the top there. So once it starts moving down the screen, we're going to hold down our weapon release button. Now I'm holding it down. And as long as that passes through that circle, you'll see the flashing icon, which means a bomb's been released. And we can see a countdown here. When that hits 12 seconds, we're going to hit our laser designate button. And we'll start designating now. And you can see the flashing L here, indicating that we're, de we're designating this target. Our laser is hot. Go three, two, one, zero. Target destroyed. Laser off. New target selected, make it our speed. We'll keep flying for a bit and then we'll turn around and drop a bomb on that target. Okay, we'll do our turn back in. Start leveling off. There's our Pippa. Okay, 
pretty good. Countdown starting. You can put autopilot for this. I prefer to hold it level myself. Okay. Three, two, one. Pickle. Now, if for some reason this doesn't flash, it means you haven't dropped any ordnance and there's some issue with your arming possibly or your speed. Okay, so 16, 15, 14, we'll start designating. You can see that's flashing. Now, if you hadn't turned on latch, you would have to hold down your designate button. In this case, I'm just toggling it on and off. Target destroyed. Turn off our laser. Another target there. Make it speed. So that's uh, stand by. Let's just make sure I'm giving you the right information. Wrong, wrong thing. Adjust controls. TMS forward long to make to make that point your speed when your TGP is sense of interest. Now because the targets are pretty much in the same area you could technically drop off the same speed because they're in a very close area and then designate the target you want the bomb to guide on to and it would still hit fine but um, I prefer just to get into the habit of designating each target as SPI every time. Um, just because obviously when you're using a GPS guided weapon or a dumb, dumb bomb, you need to be exact with your SPI, otherwise it's not going to give you the correct um, drop point. But that's, that's up to you basically. It can save some time if your targets are very close together. Okay, so we're going to close, we're going to turn around and come back in. Drop another bomb. Let's see if we can do it on autopilot this time. To press weapon release, hold it down. Bomb away. Watch the countdown. Turn on our laser, see flashing L, laser is firing, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, splash. Disengage laser, target destroyed. So there's group of targets dealt with. And we can continue scanning from there. So that's how to drop laser guided munitions in the A10C. Hope that was helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week for the next tutorial. Cheers guys. See you next time.